Hello. Okay, so everyone knows I'm a nurse. I talk about it all the time. Um, and as a nurse, I feel like part of my job or not part of my job, um, I'm a nurse 24 hours a day, all the time, everywhere I go. Um, and part of that is being an advocate for health in general. And so, oh, y'all like my bracelet Zoe made me right here. Anyways, um, as part of that, uh, there are a few things that I care very passionately about and um, I just wanted to talk about them a little bit with everyone because some things um, people are interested in sometimes and they just don't have the information to go forward with and do whatever um, or some people are just, you know, misinformed. Either way, uh, please forgive me if this video goes a little bit long. Uh, like I said, I really, really care about the subjects that I'm going to be talking about and overall health in general, so bear with me. So first off, uh, I'd like to talk about blood donation. As you can see, I have my Bleed by Example shirt on right here. That was actually uh, awarded to me from the Coastal Bend Blood Center. I actually have three shirts. They all say bleed by example. I've donated uh, a gallon and a quarter of blood so far in my life. Um, since I've been 17, I try and donate every single time I see a blood mobile. If I'm able to, you have to wait 54 days in between donations uh, and you can't be pregnant. So I've been pregnant twice. Those are the two big gaps in my donation history. Um, as far as blood donation, um, a little bit of info, uh, someone needs blood every two seconds in the U.S. So that's a big need. And only 37% of the population can donate, and of those that can, only 10% donate. And so check this out, like only 10% of the population donates. My blood type is B positive, woo, because of course it is. Um, my blood type, only 10% of the population has. So of the 10% that donate, there's only 10% of that. <laughs> so I donate every chance I get because that's kind of a rare blood type. And it's said over and over and over, the life you save could be your own. So why risk it? Why not help? Um, in addition to that, one pint, uh, one donation, with you know, one pint, which is typically one donation, can save up to three people's lives. And so uh, it takes less than an hour of your time. I really, really encourage it, and it's the easiest thing you can do to save a life. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is organ donation. And this, again, is something... Um, you know, it's kind of morbid because we think of organ donation as um, like an end all type thing, like, you know, people pass away and they donate organs. But there's also live organ donors. Uh, I actually know somebody who's gotten a kidney transplant and they do, they're doing great. It's crazy to think that they got a kidney transplant. Um, but yeah, uh, with one deceased body, you can save eight people's lives. And with that same one deceased body, you can save or enhance more than a hundred people's lives in tissue donations. And so that is crazy. And um, on top of that, up to, not on top of that, but it's crazy that one person, one donated body can do so much good, yet there's still up to 20 people on average a day that die due to the lack of availability of organs to be transplanted so yeah and it's a real simple thing if you all saw my Facebook if you are one of my Facebook friends and you saw my post yesterday I posted my ID uh, where I have the blood donation uh, organ donor heart in the corner of my license so automatically Lord forbid if something ever happened to me good could come of my death, you know? Um, the next thing I want to talk about is bone marrow donation. 
and this um, is primarily a way to treat leukemia, which is a blood cancer. Um, it's a little bit more specific. Donation requires that you have the same type of genetic ancestry as a person, so there's a huge, huge, huge need for people of all ethnic backgrounds and all races. There's a huge um, short supply of Hispanic donors. Um, blood donate, bone marrow, uh, sorry. When it comes to donating bone marrow, they only need one to 5% of a donor's bone marrow. And the donor's immune system is not affected and your body, the donor's body will replenish all of the taken bone marrow in four to six weeks. And so you literally give somebody something that is gonna save their life by doing this. And that's an easy, uh, just you sign up to be a donor. Uh, you can go online, request the kit. They swab your mouth so they can get your DNA to be able to match you as great and perfectly as they can with someone who needs your bone marrow. And that's it. You just sit available on the bone marrow list uh, waiting for somebody. Oh, Lucy's back there sneezing. How cute. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is CASA and CASA isn't exactly a health related thing that I'm going to talk about, topic that I'm going to talk about, but it is something that I am passionate about and CASA is a, CASA stands for, is an organization that helps children. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates and they help abused and neglected children all over the United States. Um, they seek to provide safe and healthy environments in the long term. And last year, a quarter of a million children were helped by CASA volunteers. It's entirely volunteer-based. You put in your time and your hours and you change this kid's life, basically. But even with all that good and all those kids helped, there are you hear it all the time, there are kids that fall through the cracks and so the need for volunteers is desperate, desperate, desperate. Um, it's a little bit harder to get involved with. You have to be able to commit some of your time. It's, an, it's a volunteer program and so you have to be committed um, and they do run a background check. I mean, you're gonna be around children, it only makes sense. Last but not least, and I'm sorry if I'm talking fast, I just don't want this video to go too long. Vaccinations. Vaccinate your kids, okay? Two to three million deaths are prevented every year through vaccinations. And the World, Horth, uh, World Health Organization says that 1.5 million more deaths could be prevented or avoided, or injuries avoided by increasing the amount of vaccinations worldwide. And something I learned today while looking stuff up to do this video and just for my own knowledge, vaccines also help slow down the spread of anti, antimicrobial um, resistance. Sorry, that was the word I was trying to think of. So like, You've heard of people, they go to the hospital and they end up with like MRSA. And what that is, is methylen um, resistant Staphylococcus aureus. I knew that from memory, woo. Uh, basically, what happens is when doctors overprescribe antibiotics or people take antibiotics that don't belong to them or they get antibiotics from a doctor and they don't finish the full amount that they were supposed to take to completely kill off the bacteria within their system. This allows bacteria to evolve and become stronger and resistant to these medications. And by getting people vaccinated properly, it reduces the need for antibiotics to be given out. And so, in total, it's super easy to affect the world around you. It is super easy to help save somebody's life. All you have to do is be willing to try. Blood donation, y'all see the blood mobiles go by every day. Y'all see it advertised every day 
organ donation. I know they ask you on your license information when you want to renew your license or your ID, do you want to be an organ donor? The bone marrow donation, um, that's a little bit, like I said, a little bit more advanced. You have to send off, you sign up on the website, they send you a packet and then you give them your DNA and they use that to match you with somebody that needs it. Um, CASA, like I said, it's a little bit more involved. You really have to be able to volunteer your time, but if you love kids and you love helping, then it just makes sense, you know? Clear background is really all you need and love. <laughs> just love, love, love. And then last but not least, I can't believe it's something that we have to talk about, but vaccinate. Vaccinate your kids. You vaccinate your dog. Care about your kids. Vaccinate them. Vaccinate yourself. The flu kills people every year. Pneumonia kills people every year. Vaccines help to build your immune system to prevent diseases from killing you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I feel like I've talked long enough. As you can tell, I really, really care about this and I'll add all the websites that I listed down below in the links. I'll also put a copy of um, the facts for all the different topics that I listed down below as well in the description. And if you have any questions, please, please, please do not hesitate to comment or message me if you know me from anywhere. Um, yeah, uh, but that's basically it. That's my nursing advocacy for the day. I love you all. Please stay safe, take care, give a little bit of extra love to your loved ones. Remember that time isn't guaranteed and we should do the best we can to be the best we can. All right. Bye y'all. Love you.